Yeah. Yo, so this came out a couple of days ago. And, uh, I saw most of it. I don't think I got to see the part of it when he was talking about Trump. Um, so this is the fallen state where, um, um, with Judge Joe Jesse, Brown okay. on Jesse Lee Peterson's um, uh, channel. Channel. So, and y'all know, if y'all go look back a couple episodes back, y'all see us. So shout out. <laughs> I had my. Well, I was like, Ooh, I that's mean, why I, I noticed. Like, is I was that like, what the camera back. does to your face? Like, that's oh my like, gosh, like, my eyes is right half here. closed. I almost messed and say, hey, y'all need to change that thumbnail. Y'all got me looking <laughs> crazy. Okay. My chin like it was eating my neck. Uh, uh, uh. I was like, oh, my God. This your picture, look. Your picture. No, it did not, my sister. Okay. Well, I thought. But listen, so I want to see what Judge Joe Brown. I saw the part. This was so funny because you can't silence Judge Joe Brown. Even Jesse Lee Peterson was trying, <laughs> they were trying to get through certain points. And Judge Joe Brown will go through it with a fine tooth comb. That's and right. he will stop when he ready to stop. Let's go. The hot seat was supposed to be seconds. He stayed about 12 minutes per <laughs> hot seat question. Let's but, go. But I want to see what he's talking about, about the indictment. Yes. But don't get off. Wait. Okay. Joe Brown. You said you had I the $25 right and you gave the $25 <laughs> away. Sit down. <laughs> What uh, what's your opinion on uh, what's happening with the great white hope, great white Donald hope. Trump, right now? You have a right to remain silent. Anything. Wait a minute, Judge Joe Brown looked like he had the boom boom room with them curtains back there. I was up. like, where the curtains come from? At the boom boom room. You hear me? You say can and may be used, et cetera, et cetera. We know those as the Miranda rights. Miranda was not a nice person, but when you have law, a lot of times some of the most sacred principles are established through the ages or the agency of somebody that's not nice. Now, if you're worried about downing Trump, you lose track of the fact that what you see, the indictments in New York, uh, Florida, and Georgia are completely outside of the law. Take what this clown brag did in New York. Whether you like Trump or not, essentially what they did is indicted him for being the victim of a blackmail attempt. They said he attempted to bribe Stormy Daniels to remain silent. This guy didn't go to law school and didn't pay much attention when he was there because when you flip the script as you were instructed first year, if you had to pay somebody to be quiet, you got blackmailed. So he's the victim of a felony. If you indict a corporation for failure to file an explicit report as to what the payout was, well, there was a court gag order. And if they filed the explicit report, they violated the court gag order. OK, mm -hmm. get to Georgia. I won't belabor all of the accounts, but right. I downloaded the 92 page indictment and I was shocked wow. to find that some of the crimes were that. Trump is supposed to have advocated checking out Newsmax, Fox News, and some other conservative religious-based uh, news institutions. They're legal. Hell, I read them. <laughs> so that's supposed to be somehow or another criminal now. All right, you get down to this thing in Florida, and they're talking about the documents. Well, let's forget what Trump did. Let's go back when he was not president of the United States and George Herbert Walker Bush was. Mm -hmm. There's a case from 1988, U.S. Mm -hmm. Supreme Court. It's called United States Department of Navy versus Egan, E-G-A-N. Okay. And if you read the uh, concurring opinions, they say, since constitutionally the president is the commander in chief of the military and chief diplomat of the country, he has an inherent power to declassify or classify anything, any document, it is. in any form, shape, or fashion he chooses. Period. Right there. Period. Yeah, that's it. Come on, Judge but that's Joe the Brown. Let's go. Judge Brown. When it's time to read, he get behind them curtains and probably just study, study, study. You know what I mean? He can do what he wants with it because guess what? The mandate that causes it to be prepared says it is for the exclusive purpose of advising the president on the state of our intelligence versus what's going on in the world. So he also has a fiduciary responsibility. It's been held that you do 
Once you take that oath, whether you are in office or not, it still binds you and you have to make an assessment on whether archivists have appropriate security clearances. And also the other thing goes to this. Uh, even if Congress comes up with a law that says he can't, well, that's unconstitutional. And Marbury versus Madison, 1803, 220 years ago, says if Congress passes an unconstitutional act, it is null and void. Mm. And that's what seems to be the case here. So you keep going into it and you find something that is very disturbing individuals belonging to a party are going to do the equivalent of a child in elementary school throwing something at another child and then running to the teacher and saying, teacher, teacher, he's going to hit me. You just wait until you go, my mommy picks me up. You won't be able to catch me. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> See, that's what it looks yeah. like. That's and the crazy. idea that three individuals are going to, or three little entities are going to deprive the American public of who they want to vote for is absolutely disturbing. Let's yeah, say it dirty. looks like the National Socialist Workers Party. Mm. Now, if you're not familiar with that, the acronym for National Socialist Workers Party is Nazi, mm. N-A-Z-I. Mm. And we remember Adolf and Heinrich yeah, and socialist, all those guys. Socialist. And Let me what ask <coughs> Be, let me ask this. Do you think they're going to put him in prison? Uh, there's no way this should stand on appeal. Yep. Good. What they want to do is take allowance of what Biden and Spinach and Byrd introduced 40 years ago is legislation that allows a U.S. attorney for the specific purpose of crippling someone bringing criminal charges, even if there's no chance of making them stick. Mm. This is what I said was happening when they started the prosecution of Dr. Bill Cosby. I said, this is so far on the wrong side of the Fifth Amendment, there's no way it would stand. Now, I've talked to Dr. Cosby personally several times since he got out, and they offered him immediately, we'll let you out two or three days if you'll just go along and concede. No way. He Wait, so he would have only been in jail for a couple of days if he would have went and said, yeah, I did it. I did this. How long did he end up doing in jail? Mm, I don't know why I feel like it was. Was it a year? A year. A year or something like that? Mm -hmm. Maybe two. Yeah. He would. And the bottom line is you can't violate the Fifth Amendment by saying one DA says we're not going to prosecute. Okay, so now he doesn't have any protection against being required in a civil matter to answer interrogatories. And then another DA coming in and saying, we're not bound by that. We're going to take his interrogatories and use them as the basis for our prosecution. He never admitted wrong. All he was doing was saying, hey, it was sex, drugs, and rock and roll, yeah. sex revolution when all this was going on. They got what they wanted. I didn't take advantage of them. Mm -hmm. But you see... Those were constitutional principles that are more important than anyone's grievance because they impact all of us. That's what's scary about this whole thing. Amazing. Mm. Um, short answer. What is the solution? <laughs> Stop it. <sighs> short answer. <laughs> <laughs> Just <Justin Lee. laughs> Ooh. Oh, my goodness. That's too funny. <laughs> to all this mess home training but since we don't have home training we have to get back to where we were 40 years ago 45 50 60 years ago which is churches synagogues mosques temples the public the movies the entertainment industry the people start talking about character making where you live a better, safer, more secure place filled with economic prosperity, sense of purpose, etc. Being brave and courageous, men and women of public peace, dignity, order, otherwise, where it's up to us to do this, nobody's going to do it for us. Yes. Oh, All right. Wow. Okay. Man, I like how um, Judge Joe Brown broke it down and he was Talk like this can't this ain't gonna we're go this ain't, and this get shit. a senator and we're gonna <laughs> go 
<laughs> and winning is good. And winning is good. Okay. Do he you hear me, Megan? <laughs> <laughs> he know his stuff. He know his stuff. He know his stuff. And I like how he broke it down. And he, he said, as a president and commander in chief of national security. Do you want me to show you <laughs> something that'll take your mind off uh, that pain? Let it. me see that finger. So I just, I, I mean, he, he broke it down. And it's like, this this shouldn't even be holding up. This shouldn't even be holding up. No, it shouldn't. It, 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 they so just trying their best. Classify they doing their and best. declassify with those roles. He said three roles that he had when you become the president, commander in chief, and yeah. some other some other thing he said. Yeah, they can't do nothing. You're supposed classify to touch Classify and declassify to based off it. your discrepancy. Your so how discrepancy. in the world is this happening? Right. Uh, they just want, if they didn't want to manhunt him so bad, this stuff, none of this stuff would have ever. And if Stormy Social Daniels would have came after him, which I feel like she was bribed and paid to go after him, they um this would not even be a the conversation or discussion. Yeah, yeah. So well, we have to fight so for <laughs> our constitutional right. Stop it. Well, but people don't realize <laughs> when they have ill intentions and they don't come all the way, you know, true and, and real, it comes back. It does come back. But they don't think about that when they're doing the dirt or they in the in the middle uh, and they're in doing what they do they're not thinking about no. that all they think about is their agenda their goal whatever they're trying to get done no matter how wrong it is no matter how much they're breaking the law oh it's okay because we've been doing it so we can get away with it but not now because what basically what judge joe brown is saying mm -hmm. they cannot lock him up but what they want to do is to scare him enough and bother him enough to where he say forget it that's what they want and to make people where it's depriving American citizens to vote for who they want to vote for. Correct. So it's free, free. It's freedom. How much freedom do we truly have? I, I'm just disappointed. But he said, that I did not know the Nazis stand for the, the National Socialist um, Society, or whatever that is. Yeah. Socialism. We don't stay away from that. I remember, man. I didn't know what that was, and I start learning over the years, mm -hmm. man. That's not what you want. You don't want that. You don't want that. That's why Bernie Sanders would never get get be um make it socialist. That's what you want. Um, so justice is going to prevail. That's the kind of God that we serve. That's, that's right. In feel. Jesus name. In Jesus that's name. That's what I feel. Justice In Jesus always prevails. Name. God always wins. He has never lost a battle ever in history of humankind. That's right. <laughs> no one like, comment, subscribe. Don't take any notes out, but comment down in the section below. below if you, you want, want some more. more. We got to go. Heal. Bye. I will see y'all later. Mm -hmm.